Have you ever wanted to know how to get mods on a Mac for Minecraft Java Edition? Well, today I'm going to show you how. Well, it's actually easier than you might think. So, let me show you. First, you're going to want to go to java.com and download Java for desktops. Come over here, then press this. So, that is going to be the Java installer. It's going to appear in here. I would drag this out, open it, and then open this inside now it's going to say are you sure you want to open it it's downloaded from the internet blah blah, blah. you press open then you're going to go to install now because it is from the internet you are going to need to put in your administration password so type that in and when you're done with that it should start installing it all right then it's going to say you have successfully installed whatever update this is now close next I recommend coming to CurseForge over here, go to Minecraft Mods, search up the mod that you want. Let's say, for example, I'm going to want the Just Enough Items mod. Very, very cool. You're going to come over to Files, select the version that you want to pick, and make sure that it's on Forge. This is going to be very important. So it's updated for 1.21.1 on Forge. So come over here, download the file, and it's going to come up right in here. So what I'm going to recommend doing is coming and bringing that over there. Now you can get rid of this since you already have it running in the background. Alright, you're going to keep this over here. Now you're going to go search up Minecraft Forge. Come to this, minecraftforge.net, files.minecraftforge.net, and then select the version that you downloaded your mod for. So mine was 1.21.1. .1. So you're going to come over here to 1.21 and then go to 1.21.1 and then download latest. Now this is the ad page. Do not press download. This download is for the ad. Wait until it says skip, then press skip and it should be in your downloads now. Okay, so now you're going to drag this out here and open it again. Just open it. Now it's going to say, cannot I uh, verify the developer? Are you sure you want to open it? Then you need to put in your administration. There we go. Now you're going to see this Java down here. This is the Forge installer. Go to install client and then press OK. Now it's going to take a while to do all of this. The reason that it was fast for me was because I already have this downloaded. Then you're going to press OK. Then you can click out of this. And then you can launch Minecraft. Open your Minecraft launcher. Now you should be able to see right here Forge. It should automatically pop up for you. Then you're going to go over to installations and where there's Forge go to open installations folder. Go to mods. Now if you don't have the mods here you can um, create your own mod folder. Then you're going to get the mod that you downloaded before. In this case I got the just enough items mod. Drag it into the mods. Alright now we can close that out. Come over to play and press play. Now it's gonna look something like this and this is good because that means that the um, Curse Forge mods are loading into Minecraft. Now you should be able to see how you normally see it and then you should also be able to see mods right here. Then you can see that you've imported this mod. Of course you can import the other mods and then just go into any world and there you go. You should now have every single item. Now to me, that's just enough items. Alright guys, I hope you find this guide useful and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.